This one comes from the AITA subreddit and is titled, Am I the Askonaut to ask my friend, single mother, to do a paternity test on her son because I had suspicions my husband is the father? <laughs> what if, you, like any kid that looked remotely like it could be, like had features that your spouse shared, what if you just walked up to any random kid and demanded a paternity test, like any kid in public, it would be amazing. Messy, but I'll make this as short as possible. So one of my best friends has a, had a kid three years ago. She said it was a one night stand and later the guy expressed no interest in being a dad. So she raised her son herself. No one has ever seen this guy, not even me. The issue is this, the kid looks extremely like my husband to an insane degree. The hair color, eyes, face, everything. <laughs> He's even been out with my friend and her son and people have mistaken him for the dad before. Needless to say, for three years now, I've had my suspicions, but I haven't said anything. My husband is also close to my friend and the timeline works out. We were all living almost in the same neighborhood around the time she got pregnant. Over the past year, it's really eaten at me. I see the resemblance growing more and more. It doesn't help that my friend refuses to show me a picture of her son's biological father no matter how much I ask. It kept spiraling until I had a meltdown and confronted both of them, saying that I would pack up and leave if I didn't see a paternity test. Long story short, my friend got a paternity test but said our friendship was over. The test says my husband isn't the father. I feel so ashamed to lose my friend, but I thought my husband would slightly understand since even he sees the obvious resemblance between him and this kid. But he has moved out for the time being, and I'm worried this is the end of our marriage. Am I the astronaut for insisting on that test? I honestly felt like I had no other choice. The resemblance was unavoidable, and it was eating at me so much that no amount of therapy could help. I thought my husband would understand my fears, most of all given my history with past cheating exes. Did I f*** up, and how badly? Hold up. You mean to tell me there was no other option, like maybe, like maybe even bringing up the fact that it freaks you out how much they look alike, like maybe, maybe the fact that you're looking back in time and looking at the timeline and looking at how you all lived really close to each other around this time and it has made you suspicious and had like a pre-conversation before demanding a paternity test, there were no other options? None. There were no other options than just out of the blue being like, I would like a paternity test. And then saying, you're shocked that your husband isn't understanding because, because even the resemblance freaks him out. Yeah, okay, the resemblance freaks him out. The other side of this that you seem to be just glossing over here is that you're accusing him of cheating on you as well. It's not just this like some kind of spontaneous mitosis occurred and he just split himself off into a kid it wasn't an immaculate conception. Your husband would have had to cheat on you for your suspicions to be true. And you demanding a paternity test says, I believe these suspicions enough that I'm going to demand a paternity test. But it feels like a pretty big f up to me with no pre conversation in here. Oh, we get some candy thunder feedback on this too. So I think that this story is the case of when you let the voices in your head um, control your reality instead of actually seeing what's going on or like thinking rationally. She just like let it go on for so long in her head that it became irrational and it's going to end most likely her marriage. I mean, she accused her husband of cheating and he didn't cheat. She said in comments that she went to the center for the like they got the testing done. She was there. So she knows it wasn't like a fake test. Um, but she, she let this woman or let this thing inside her head grow into its own like beast. And now it's basically ruined her life. And I don't, I don't know that I, if, if I accused you of cheating this hard, I don't know that we could come back from that. Uh, like, no, I, I would prove especially that I if there wasn't like a pre-conversation there. Sergeant Max saying the husband slash neighbor probably had interactions that Opie was jealous of and the kid confirmed her. Yeah. That's entirely positive. There had to be something seeding this before and not just a random kid popping up that looks like her right. husband. But it is my is my understanding the same that you're receiving from the story where, where she didn't speak up about it previously and then think, let it boil to this point and then brought I it up? I think she said that she like mentioned it, like being funny mentioned it. But like, I don't think that she ever like actually set, set her husband, husband down and was like, hey, this kid looks like you and I'm concerned. I know this sounds crazy, yeah. but like help me work through this because I feel uncomfortable with this. I, I would probably in her shoes have that conversation, what you just said with hubby first and been like, I'm freaking out. I'm sure it's nothing. And I would never accuse you of this because I don't think that you would ever do it. But it's hard to ignore the fact that this looks like 
you reborn, right? It's it's hard to ignore that right. to any sane person out there. And I feel like I'm going crazy because I know you would never do this. Right. But 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 like I can't get this thought out of my head, which is normal. I feel like to have those thoughts in your head, like you're. But you have to decide what's real and what's not. And at that point, she had no idea if that was true, but she pointed the finger. And at both of them. Yes. Yeah. And, and like somebody's saying here, she made the demand on her friend too, not just her hubby, which I think was right. the, the, the second <laughs> up here, not talking to just hubby first and being like, I'm freaking out. I'm sure it's irrational, but this is what's happening inside of me right now. Waiting till it got to the point where it boiled up and then made the yeah. demand of both of them at the same time. Like there's, there's no, well, she yeah, went she, hard. She lost her shit. There was no she, easing into this. But she, I think you can hype something up so much in your head that you, you believe it. And like, that's where she got instead of working through it. When it first became like this random thought in your head, like you left it there for so long and it boiled over mm. and it became its whole, it just became a, another life force in her life. She let her insecurities write the narrative. Right. And that's the only thing she listened to. And I only say that because I like, I've done this a hundred times over. Where not I, this. Not, I didn't accuse him of cheating, but I had like just insecurities in my mind where I felt like unloved or any of, of all these things. And like, I had to learn that that was my own head, like playing with me. And it's like, if that voice inside your head was outside your body and that was somebody talking to you, that voice is crazy. Mm. Like that yeah. voice is just all those irrational, like crazy thoughts that pop into your brain. And she, she just made it, she made it her whole life for the past three years. And which, then it just. Which is a really powerful way of looking at it. If the, if the voice inside your head was outside your body talking to you, would you trust it? Would it be your friend? And the answer is no. No. Like you would not trust that. No. But it's like wishy-washy. The voice inside your head is just is just there to bounce off of. Don't right. believe it. The whole so so there's conversation about uh, about the friend didn't help by refusing to show her a picture of the kid's dad, um, but her my understanding is that to her friend was completely unrelated to right. this this conspiracy theory that was going on in Opie's head that the friend didn't know about until she demanded a paternity test. Like, it, you can't put that on the friend and say that she knew about this and she wasn't helping the situation by refusing to do that because she didn't know about it until this paternity test was demanded. Right. And also, yes, maybe she did bring it up in a joking way that they looked alike, probably with an eye twitch while she said it, right? Because right. she's like, isn't it funny how much they look alike? It's like when Navy... <laughs> I imagine Bloody. it's like when Navy gets in trouble and she's like trying to make you laugh because she wants to move on from being in trouble. So like tears she, in her eyes yeah. still. <laughs> I'm funny. happy. It's funny. I'm happy. <laughs> uh, I'm no, happy. I think if, if I had had these feelings, I would have done what I said and just said, I know that this is probably not true, but I can't help the fact that this thought is eating away at my brain. Um, like walk me through this and help me overcome this because I yeah. I can't move forward until I have this conversation. And as your partner, I would have been like, what the f Legitimately. But I would have had the opportunity to say what the f and talk through the madness before it got to a point where somebody was demanding a paternity test right. of me. <laughs> and at that point, if I'm taking yeah. a medical test to prove, to disprove your insecurities, yeah, I'm probably out. Right, right. I, I just think that she she was her own worst enemy in this situation. Yeah. And I don't think it's on the friend to have to show if she didn't want to share who the baby's dad was. I don't think that she gets that information just because she asked for it without a reason why. If she had gone to the friend with the same stuff like, hey, I I'm freaking out and I don't I'm not accusing you of anything, but this is freaking me out and I can't get this thought out of my head. She probably still would have lost the friend, but she probably could have got who the actual dad was instead of what she did, which was just boil it over and accuse them of having an affair.